So if you're ever in San Sebastian, there's an experience that you can't miss, and that's coming to a traditional Basque cider house. It's amazing, and that's where we are today, in Petritegui, which is one of these traditional cider houses. The experience is a massive, delicious uh, meal of traditional cuisine, including an enormous, incredible T-bone steak of aged beef, and also drinking cider straight from enormous barrels in these magical uh, barrel rooms. And that's what we're gonna do tonight. I'm here with my Devour Tourist colleagues, and we're gonna eat and drink like kings and queens. Okay, so when you get to the cider house, there's a very set order for the menu. And the first thing you do is you get your glass. This is a traditional cider glass, and it has a reason for being like it is. I'll show you later. Uh, you fill it with a little bit of cider in the barrel room, and then you start eating. And the first dish that's served is chorizo that has been boiled in cider, of course. You get a little bit of bread, and you put the, the chorizo there, and you start eating. So dig in, guys. Okay, so we've filled up our cider in the barrel room and we're on to course two, tortilla de bacalao. This is the super traditional dish that comes kind of second after the chorizo here in a cider house. And the thing is, the beauty of these cider houses is the menu is always the same. Uh, and so what this is, a tortilla, so uh, an omelet, but it has bacalao, salt cod inside. Now salt cod is such an important ingredient in the Basque country. The Basques, uh, a millennia ago, were, were, were heading off to modern day Canada, Newfoundland, to, to fish for cod, to dry it and bring it back. And so that tradition remains in the cuisine today and we have this delicious, juicy omelet full of salt cod. And I'm getting hungry, but what about you guys? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go. So the most magical part of the cider house experience for me in the Basque country is going into the barrel room. So when you're out in the dining room, someone will yell, choch, someone at your table. And that means you have to come into the barrel room uh, and you have to drink cider. Uh, choch is the name of the old kind of peg that used to be in the barrels that, that someone would be pulling out and all the pressure would push the cider out and you would catch it in your glass. So you come into the barrel room and then you have to drink the cider but in a very unique way. Sometimes there will be someone to open the tap for you from these huge barrels where it's full of cider and sometimes you will open it yourself. But here's the thing, you don't just like open a tap like a glass of water and pour yourself some cider. You have to do it in a very unique way and that connects back to the glass. Remember I said the glass is important. So you're gonna open the tap and it's the cider will shoot out and it has to hit the side of the glass to, to break the bubbles and kind of break open the cider and bring all the flavor out. And it's just really fun as well. Don't wear open soled shoes because you're gonna get a lot of cider on your feet. So here we go, let's give it a go, see what happens. There you see, it's gotta hit the side of the glass. And the thing is, you don't wanna pour it too much because you have to drink everything in your glass. Uh, you can't just sip away at it because so much flavor comes from that breaking of the bubbles. So now I have to drink it all. So, salud, topa. Ah, it's so fresh. The beauty of Basque cider is it's not like, it's not sweet, you know. A lot of cider in this world is sweet, but this is, it's dry, it's buttery, it's, it's got so much complexity to it. It is delicious. Uh, it's my favorite cider in the world. So this is, I mean, I'm gonna be coming back here five, 10 times during the night. I go back to the table next. Uh, they bring more food, they'll bring the, the more bacalao, they'll bring the steak, and you just keep coming. But remember, you don't fill it up and go and sip it at the table. You drink it all, you head back, talk to your friends, eat a little more, and then you come back with your friends into the barrel, uh, barrel room and get more cider. It's a wonderful dynamic experience. Okay, so the next dish that comes, it's more bacalao, more salt cod, but here in a different form. There, there are chunks of salt cod. When you come to San Sebastian and other parts of Spain, you will see salt cod in the salt cod shops. Uh, and you'll see it, it'll be dried, it'll be salted, it'll, it'll look not particularly appetizing, but then they soak it in water for about 48 hours. It brings the salt out, uh, it's called rehydrating it. And at that point, it's edible. It doesn't necessarily have to be cooked to be edible. This is cooked, this has been uh, grilled here and it's been served with this delicious, uh, it's not a bed because it's on top, so this, this kind of covering of beautiful fried green and red pepper. And so, I don't know about you guys, but I'm, I'm getting in there. Mm. Huh. The pepper is sweet. It's, it's sweet from the, from the time on the grill. The cod is, is cardy, a little bit salty. It's a perfect combination.
the final course, the chuleton, the T-bone steak. Now how it's served in the Basque country here in the cider houses, it's, it's grilled, it's cut into strips, and it, I can't even find my fork, uh, I'm so excited. And it should be perfectly, look at that, look how rare it is in the middle. That is so delicious. Uh, these are, this is aged beef. This is cows that are older than, no, they're old milking cows, and that means it has so much flavor. Let's see. Mm. Oh my God. If I was only gonna eat steak ever in one place, in my life, in one part of the world, it would be in the Basque country. This is delicious. The last course in the Basque Cider House is the cheese, the Idia Thabal, uh, sheep's milk cheese paired with quince paste. Uh, this is super traditional as, as the dessert and also with walnuts, which you have to crack, obviously, with a nutcracker. And there's a lot of uh, Basques here, a lot of locals that actually crack it with their skulls. They put the walnut on the table and they crack it like that. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna enjoy these with my friends, but you know, when you're here, you can give it a go, cracking it with your skull. Guys, when you come to San Sebastian, we would love to have you on tour, um, you know, while you're here to discover the, the tradition, the food of the city. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Check out Abak Cider House while you're here and check out our, our all our info in the links below. Thanks for watching and topa. Salud in Basque.